Show your support. Join the discussion in the comments. Hello, I am that British guy and welcome back to the channel. It is time for a little bit of a discussion. A couple of weeks ago we saw the new Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer. I actually did a quick video myself covering all of the battle elements in the video. One thing however I didn't discuss and this is something that certain areas of the internet particularly people like Taku seem to have really focused in on, is how the character of Barrett has been portrayed. Now the reason I didn't focus on this at all in my first video was purely because I was only looking at the battle elements of that trailer. So what I want to do in this video is quickly just break down some of the concerns that have been voiced and to let you know where I kind of stand on these things. Now, from my understanding of it, the major gripe that a lot of people are having, I say a lot of people, a lot of, shall we say, loud-voiced people, because it's not really something that most of the fans of the series seem to have that much of an issue with, as far as I can gather. It's more something that certain journalists have found, or people that just kind of want to be negative about things have managed to glean from this video and I will admit that my stance on things comes with quite a big caveat which I will explain a little bit later. Basically Barrett's portrayal in the trailer is seen as very kind of stereotypical and maybe even potentially racist as a kind of two-dimensional black character. It has been argued that this is portrayed in the way that he talks, even down to the words that he actually says in the trailer, how he looks, and just how he carries himself. What I will say is, it's very difficult for us to glean anyone's character in this trailer, because it is only about a minute long, and a good half of that is seeing how the battle takes place within the trailer. So obviously with that all you're seeing is certain characters using certain attack and defensive moves. You don't really get a sense of storyline or character or any relationships between anyone, anything like that. But I think it is fair to say that at least in this part of the game and how he is portrayed in the trailer, maybe he is ever so slightly two-dimensional. But what is important to know is this is kind of how Barrett is in the original version of the game. Certainly at this point of the game. He is very brash, he is very loud mouthed, he is throwing his weight around quite a lot. He curses numerous times in order to try and get his point across and doesn't really seem to back anything up with any sort of sense of logic or scientific background at all. He's very kind of gung-ho, he is very just kind of act first, think later. And obviously this is portrayed in the fact that the first mission that you go on, something that he has obviously pieced together as the leader of Avalanche, is to blow up a reactor. Now obviously these reactors are in sectors in the lower section of Midgar, so that is where the civilians of those sectors are working and living. And obviously blowing up a reactor is going to cause quite a lot of devastation. Yes, it is going to impact on the city above, and that was the kind of main point of it. But without kind of thinking of the ramifications of it, he has allowed this to happen, thus causing devastation to hundreds, potentially thousands of innocent people, potentially killing and injuring most in that area. Now these are not the actions of a sensible, level-headed character, irrespective of his ethnicity or his background or anything like that. Anybody doing this is clearly acting on emotion and on impulse and not really thinking about any wider effects of their actions. And this is very much the Barrett that we get at the beginning of the game. 
even when you first go to Cosmo Canyon and Avalanche kind of gets rebuilt again, he still kind of has elements of that gung-ho nature. It's argued that you don't really see those layers being stripped away and seeing the more human side of him until you go to North Coral and you see how he is treated by the townsfolk there and then his interaction with Dine when you are in the desert prison. That is when all of this kind of facade if you like of Barrett is starting to get peeled away and you actually get to the root of the proper man underneath it all. You see and you understand some of the actions and events that have made him the person that you see at the beginning of the game. And obviously in kind of running away from that and trying to kind of defiantly put the world to rights, that's his almost his coping mechanism with those things that have happened in the past. He's lost his town, he's lost all of his friends, he's lost his wife. He feels personally responsible for everything that happens in North Coral. And when Dine finally loses his fight against Barrett and asks him to take care of his daughter Marlene that Barrett has been raising as his own this whole time and says, look, I can't go back to her. I've got far too much blood on my hands. He then decides to take his own life by falling off of the cliff. And it's only after Dine has done that, that Barrett kind of pleads to him afterwards, my hands are no cleaner than yours. It's that realisation of what he's been doing this whole time, how much kind of devastation he has been racking in, especially in Midgar, just purely to get revenge against the Shinra, without any kind of care or thought about the general populace. Now that to me doesn't sound like the man that we get at the beginning of the game and the man that we see in this trailer. So what I will say is I'm not personally shocked or bothered about the Barrett that we see in this trailer with, as I said at the beginning, this very strong caveat. As long as he carries on going along this journey that we actually saw in the original game. As long as these layers are slowly peeled away as we go through the game. And we get a more human and well-rounded character by the end of it. If he stays in this two-dimensional, stereotypical, potentially racist style throughout the entire game then by all means I think the people that have called Square out are well within their rights to do so. But what we've seen in this trailer is such a small window of the first barely couple of hours of the game that there is no way you could get a kind of a sense of what this character is over a game the scale that this is going to be and the scale that the original game was. I can see how people who haven't played the game might take this little snapshot and assume that it applies to the entire game. One thing I will say is play the original game. Play the source material and learn what this character and all the other characters are actually like. And as long as Square are using this source material for the remake, and I'm sure they would be because why wouldn't they? It's already been written for them. They've already created it. As long as they are doing that, I personally have no issue with how he is being portrayed in this trailer and how presumably he will be portrayed at the beginning of the game. I think it's very important that we see this side of him straight away in order to actually connect with him later on and have an affinity for him as he develops as a character. So there we go, there are my thoughts on the character of Barra as portrayed in the new Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer. Please let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like my content in general please give the channel a subscribe. Till next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.